Today on 21st Century Television. Explore state-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies, insights from cutting-edge corporations around the globe, a visionary look into the answers of tomorrow today. Business leaders, business solutions, 21st Century Television. Welcome to 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. With the rapid pace of increasing internet and data use, have you ever thought about how global communications infrastructure can keep up? Well, with the tremendous increase in bandwidth use and adoption of applications, video, gaming, social media communities, and smartphones, the need for carriers to carefully prepare their infrastructure is growing. Today, we're joined by Eric Contag, COO of GlobeNet, a company that's satisfying this very need. Welcome, Eric. Thank you, Jackie. It's a pleasure to be here. Eric, we mentioned the various platforms that we're using today that depend on bandwidth, but can you explain to us really what bandwidth is and how these everyday things depend on it? Absolutely. Let, let me use an analogy. Think of bandwidth as a freeway. The wider, the bigger a freeway, the more cars you can put on it. And bandwidth is the same thing. Uh, the better your infrastructure is, the wider infrastructure it is, the more data you can actually pipe through, um, through that infrastructure. With all these new devices uh, coming to market, you need to make sure that the underlying infrastructure can support the media-rich applications that you're going to need on your smartphones or tablets and such applications as media streaming and others. Such a huge demand. So Eric, tell us who GlobeNet is and how you're addressing this increased bandwidth demand. GlobeNet is an international carrier carrier. Uh, we own and operate a 22,500 kilometer subsea cable network that connects the United States with Brazil, Bermuda, Colombia, and Venezuela. And what we really do, think of us as the glue between two networks. You have a large carrier, let's say in Brazil, that it has um, thousands, sometimes millions of users uh, that are hungry for news, for traffic, for all sorts of information on their devices. Mm -hmm. A lot of that content actually lives in the United States or transits through the United States to reach Latin America. And GlobeNet is a glue between those two networks. We allow that data to flow from the major content distribution centers down to the carriers in Latin America who in turn pass it on to their end users in Brazil, Colombia, Venezuela, etc. Many proactive governments in Latin America are in need of broadband plans, low latency routes, and services to support their country's financial verticals and internet needs. GlobeNet has completed a major subsea network upgrade and expansion to have available capacity for the increased demand in this region. Yeah, our growth since uh, 2003, when we start operating this network, we started at that time with 80 gigabits in our network. We have been growing in a rate of uh, approximately 10 to 15 percent a year. We have today 1.2 terabits, and we are planning the next uh, upgrade to go from 1.2 to 1.8 terabits. The development of terrestrial backhauls is uh, a top priority in our strategic planning. We have already started uh, the feasibility studies for this implementation, especially in Brazil, Venezuela, and Colombia. This is a very important project for us to be closer to our customers and to provide better services to them in this country. Let's see an example of this cable because this is really fascinating. Well, let me tell you this before I show you our cable. Uh, you would expect that a large amount of users, one of our largest customers in Brazil has 65 million users, 7.5 million of those are broadband or high-speed internet users, and 100% of that traffic is on the GlobeNet cable system. Hmm. Uh, most people would think that it's a huge infrastructure. You would imagine. You would imagine, but in reality, this is the size of our subsea assets. Wow, and this little tiny part at the very top is really the cable that's carrying the signal. Absolutely, we have eight optical fibers um, in this cable, four pairs, and each one of them is about the size of one of your hairs. Hmm. And today we are carrying on the GlobeNet system about 1.2 terabytes of capacity. Through the use of innovative technologies, we've been able to increase the amount of bandwidth that we carry in the system by more than tenfold over these last 10 years. Uh, and this cable system is buried deep in the ocean, um, far away from uh, external aggressors, 
right, anchors and fishermen, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And that's what allows us to deliver the highest quality service that we have in the market today. And the rest of this, we might add, this is all just protection. This is showing the various layers of protection that are around the cable. At, absolutely. Now, recently, you were awarded the Global Telecom Power 100 designation. What does that mean for GlobeNet and its customers? Well, it's an honor to have received that award twice. But more important is what does this mean to the customers? I think it's a recognition of our peers, our market, and our customers that we deliver on our promises. Um, for these carrier customers, reliability, resiliency, low latency, availability of capacity is absolutely paramount. They really depend on us. Mm -hmm. uh, and if I go back to this very large customer that we have, um, 7.5 million subscribers growing at 40% a year, they need a network like LobeNet to be able to satisfy their own demand. Let me ask you to look into your crystal ball and tell us where you see this industry and GlobeNet in particular, say in the next five to 10 years. Jackie, I'm very bullish about the industry. Um, I think we're in the right spot at the right time. You have a growing market. Um, I think in general, developing world is really taking off. Outside of our space, if you look at Africa, that's the next frontier. Um, you see growing economies. It's the, same, it's the same recipe, right? So a growing economy, growing middle class, more, dispo more disposable income, uh, people are investing in telecommunication services. I truly believe that, that our world is getting smaller because of a connected world. Um, I think that um, there's going to be more devices. There's going to be newer applications. I believe that some of the content is going to be developed locally. In Brazil, for example, it's the only Portuguese-speaking country in all of Latin America. Right. And the amount of locally produced content and applications is absolutely staggering. So you're going to see a shift um, in the directionality of the traffic. Um, and I believe that, that this is a market that will continue to grow for the foreseeable future and we're here to stay. Fascinating conversation, Eric, and thank you so much for joining us. Jackie, thank you very much for inviting me. And thank you for watching. For 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales.